Hello everybody, Lucid Dream Infinity here. This is Andrew. I wanted to do a video on the wake back to bed technique and sort of discuss and explore why this method for inducing lucid dreaming, uh, for inducing lucid dreams is so effective. So uh, let's get started. The first thing that we sort of have to understand here is that when our dreams occur during the later part of our sleep cycle. So this means that for the first five hours or so of sleeping that we are not dreaming, or at least uh, our dreams might not be quite as vivid or memorable as they are uh, when we go into the REM phase of sleep, which is when the sort of, the sort of, uh, our, our, our dreams occur and, and we remember those dreams and they're the most memorable ones. So what the advantage to wake back, the, the wake back to bed method does is uh, we're already, we've already finished with the first five hours or uh, the first phases of sleep, right? So then we disturb the sleep cycle by waking up for maybe 30 minutes or an hour and then returning to sleep. So what this means is that when we go back to bed, we can effectively skip uh, the, the first five hours of, of sleep because we've already been through that phase. And so what that means and why that's so important is that we, through, through practicing the wake back to bed method, we're able to go from being in a state of waking consciousness and being awake in physical reality and we sort of can go directly from that state into REM sleep. So what that means is we can make this sort of transition from being awake directly into the dream state. And so part of the reason why this is such a great way to induce lucidity is because that, that sort of uh, barrier that I talk about between uh, waking consciousness and the, the dreaming mind and, and being asleep and being in a dream is that that, that barrier uh, becomes a very, very sort of permeable and passable when we practice the wake back to bed uh, technique because it makes it so much easier for us to preserve uh, a sort of thread of awareness that we can keep with us through the process of falling back asleep and entering into the dream state and becoming lucid and realizing that that we're in a lucid dream. So. In, in that sense, uh, it, it's a very efficient method for sort of, you know, having gone through the, f the first uh, phases of sleep for, you know, five hours or so, and then waking up and, you know, bringing that sort of waking awareness into our consciousness for 30 minutes or for 60 minutes or so, and then returning to sleep and going directly into the dream state with the intention of becoming lucid. And so it's a great way to sort of uh, cut through or to sort of chop through this, uh, the barrier or the border between waking awareness and the dreaming mind. Uh, and so that's, I, I speculate that that's a big part of the reason why the wake back to bed method is so effective. It makes, uh, it, it creates a sort of scenario in which waking consciousness can easily pass from being awake in this physical dimension to being aware in the in the dream state, uh, and that's that's part of the reason why I think wake back to bed is such a, a great method for inducing uh, lucid dreams. Now there are some disadvantages to wake back to bed in that we have to disturb our sleep cycle, right? We have to wake up after five hours of sleep remain awake anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes and then go back to bed. So it can be kind of inconvenient if you have a conventional schedule where you have to you know, wake up early in the morning because you have to go to work. Uh, but if you have weekends available to practice the wake back to bed technique, it's a great way to, to gain experience with lucid dreaming and to induce lucidity. It's by far the, the most successful technique out there for becoming lucid. I think that Stephen LaBerge said in an interview with, uh, uh, I believe his name is Chuck Norrie on, on Coast to Coast, the DJ who does that radio show, he said that they've done studies at the Lucidity Institute 
And when you practice this method, your odds of lucidity increase something like 20 times. So the wake back to bed method is, is by far the most reliable way to induce lucidity. And I think that that's because it allows consciousness to go directly from being awake to the dream state without having to go through the sort of five hours of the sleep cycle that we normally have to do when we go to bed. And that's one of the reasons why trying to have a lucid dream when you go to sleep at night isn't always the most effective way to do it. Uh, it's much better to wake up early, stay awake for a period of time, and then of course go back to bed. Um, okay, so that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.